Hey everyone, welcome back to Tai Long Animation. In today's video, I'll be showing you exactly how to create an animation using Prisma 3D version 3.11. If you're new to 3D animation or having trouble with the latest update, this tutorial is just what you need. First, open Prisma 3D and create a new project. If you're in modeling mode, simply switch to animation mode by tapping Open Animation, and then selecting Create Animation. Once that's done, you'll see a timeline appear at the bottom of the screen. To animate an object, start by clicking on the object, in this case, a cube. Next, click the plus button at the bottom and select Create Animation. Now go to the timeline and tap on it. On the left-hand side, you'll see the Keyframes option. Click on that. To add your first keyframe, make sure you've selected the cube, then tap the keyframe button while on the first frame. Move ahead to another frame, reposition your object, and Prisma 3D will automatically create another keyframe. To play back your animation, use the back button on the top left corner and hit the play button. Now, if you're not sure what keyframes are, here's a simple explanation. Imagine animating a cube moving from the left side of the screen to the right. You place one keyframe at frame 1 with the cube on the left, and another keyframe at frame 30 with the cube on the right. The software will automatically create the motion between these two points. This process is called interpolation. To make your animation more appealing, it's important to understand some basic animation principles. These principles apply to all forms of animation, regardless of the software you're using. As a beginner, there are three key principles you should know. Squash and stretch. This principle gives a sense of weight, flexibility, and volume to your objects. It makes movements look more natural and believable. Imagine a bouncing ball. When it hits the ground, it squashes. When it bounces up, it stretches. However, the ball keeps the same volume. It just changes shape, not size. Anticipation prepares the audience for an action. For example, before a character jumps, they bend their knees. This small movement sets up the main action and makes it feel more realistic. Straight ahead, action and pose to pose. These are two different animation methods. Straight ahead means animating each frame in sequence from beginning to end. It's great for things like flowing hair, fire, or cloth in the wind. Pose to pose, on the other hand, involves creating the main poses first, like a character's walking steps, and then filling in the in-between frames. This method is ideal for planning and getting smoother, more controlled animations. These are just the basics of animation, and in the next video, I'll be showing you how to animate a full character in Prisma 3D. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.